What's going on guys, it's Dax and I'm back with you guys with a video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite and I, what I believe to be the highest and most efficient and uh, you know fastest uh, higher island strider or whatever you want to use for uh, Grog Krovy in the new map Grog Krovy. So if you want to get to hot rounds or if you just want to level up just anything this is really good because they spawn in really really fast too. Uh, you want to head down here to the underground little bunker place and you want to there's only two there's only three places they can come from the two barriers and the big in the pathway in the middle or like toward the back or whatever but aside from that if you keep these other two doors shut it's actually goes by really really fast and you can get on the other side of those doors by going through main anyways through the main house or through the main uh, houses or whatever you want to call them so yeah there's no problem here keeping these doors shut and then basically what I do is I just sit here with the PPSH which later on I got to 51 and then I ended up buying the Vesper because I ran out of ammo and using blast furnace and uh, dead wire so basically what all you want to do here or but no, before I get into the strategy even if you don't use the strategy and you just sit here okay just with the insane drops that you're getting like the death machine and the max ammos and the insta kills like you don't even have to have the wonder weapon like a base like if you, you can just run around with the shield and the and your uh L and your unlimited uh pack a punched weapon which uh you basically already have infinite ammo as you can see here i ran out of ammo so what i done was i let a zombie break my shield i picked up a new shield and then i got three ammo then i used it to kill the zombies i'm not sure uh, what round you can get to for this still being an insta kill with a shield, but I'm assuming it's pretty high because I was on 58 and it was still an insta kill for me. So, uh, right here, you can see I'm just using PPSH, burning like blasting straight through rounds, getting a mad drops, uh, freaking double XP and, or double points, death machines, insta kills. It's just, it's awesome. Like, you can just fly straight through rounds. Like, you can see I have four drops at once right now. And this wasn't the first time that it happened, it wasn't even the second. This happened uh, a lot of times because you just get so many drops from actually killing those zombies once they break out of the windows. Now, you can see here. All I'm using is using the machine in, and I'm shooting at these two little, mostly the main part. But here is for the main strategy that you're going to want to use. Now, aside from those many things, this is going to be the main thing. You want to take your upgraded uh, uh, GKZ45 and your upgraded Raymark 3, and then you just want to sit right here where the barrier is to the right, and then you just want to shoot, and then you just want to shoot your left gun, and then shoot your right gun. And then if you just keep doing that, it'll basically it'll kill all the zombies. It will kill all of the uh, all the uh, the Russian manglers like with no problem whatsoever. Uh, it may get a little bit slower once you get up in the high in like the mid 50s, but it, it still works. And even if you think it's too slow, you can just run around with the shield and the Vesper with uh, your element on it, a dead wire blast first, whatever you prefer. But this is an amazing strategy. My the main thing I do here is I just sit there and where that corner is. But you also have a trap that I didn't mention. Uh, you can see me hitting it right here. There is a trap, and that makes it just you have. That means you can only guard two windows if you keep the trap on most of the time, which is what you're gonna do for high rounds. So right now I'm paused on 13 because I just now got to uh, I think I forgot 58, 59, and then I died. Uh, I died all four deaths on round 58, which is just oh, dude I got freaking wrecked. Anyways, another tip for this. Uh, I'll show you guys on screen is if you don't see any zombies spawning this is a really cool thing now the drone the Vul the Vulcan drones they won't come in here and disturb you so at the end of the round you just want to run all the way out and then you want to shoot them up in the sky and then you want to run back in because the round won't end unless you go out to the other side and shoot them this is just like this map is really hard to do the easter egg on it's like it's kind of difficult it's pretty claustrophobic not pretty good there's like not really any good places to train but this room with both gates shut it's just it's absolutely insane I don't think there's a better spot than this now I've seen Greg FPS uploaded a video about a spot where you could train but this is just camping and I mean you're not even wasting ammo camping because they just keep spawning and keep spawning like it's just it's so insane like the spot I love it so much and I can't wait to get back onto my game right now once I'm done with the video and just keep freaking grinding out these high rounds so hopefully you guys did enjoy if you want to see more videos like this make sure to write comment subscribe this has been Dax and I'll catch you guys in the next one